games, the quarterback matchup you no. played now with Alpha. Can you just tell us a little bit about maybe some of the comparisons you see in the two of them? I think the just competitive drive, uh, the great leadership skills, you know, the QB being the pinnacle of the team. Um, obviously, the the age disparity. It's a it's a kind of a refresher to me that Joe's 25. You know, more of a peer where Tom was kind of a, more of a you know larger than life figure. But um, I'm on one against Tom, so I want to get this win, even it up. Brian Callahan said that he's shown clips of men in the arena during some of the meetings. I guess for you, like I'm sure you've seen it, but where does it kind of compare to like other documentaries you've seen, and why is it so special? Well, it's so special because I have a few appearances in it. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I think Tom has had an unbelievable career. I, I think, you know, I, I put him, I have so much respect for him and he he was so great to me, great to my family and obviously, you know, great to that organization, that region. So, um, you know, he's going to bring it. So we better be ready to go. Anytime you play Tom Brady, you got to be ready to go. Have we'll you make... seen, have you seen desperate Tom or, you know, b back against the wall, Tom? I mean, they're six and seven. I know they're still in first place, but might be a different, different look. And if so, what? What is that when he's playing with that type of desperation? We were down 28 to three in the Super Bowl, so you know that's pretty back against the wall. Season's coming to an end. You know he said we were going to win. I believed him, so you know I never bet against Tom Brady, um, and I know that when you're playing a team that's led by him, uh, you better be on your on your stuff. Absolutely, I think that speaks to just the uh, you know the thin line of this league. If you're going to be you know be good or not, you have to execute on a day by day, play by play basis. And you know, obviously, they had a rough one in San Francisco. But you know, when you have a, that level of a quarterback, and you know, the, they have a pretty pretty premier defensive front. So we're going to have our hands full with a lot of good matchups. We're going to need to bring our best performance Sunday 4 p.m. Tampa Bay. It's going to be awesome. What do you think Tom's message to the team was after that 35-7 loss? You know what, how competitive he is and everything else. I mean, what, how, what, would, what would the next week be like with Tom Brady after that kind of loss? Laser focused, uh, sense of urgency. I know he brings that every time, but, you know, I think there's a feeling of you don't want to let him down. Uh, because he's, you know, been so good for so long and is such a good leader. And, you know, that's what all good teams feel with their with their peers and their brothers. You know, you want to make sure your performance is at a level that, you know, helps your team win, doesn't let your brothers down. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, during the COVID year. He, uh, yeah, he had reached out. We were do, you, do you plan on talking to him pregame, postgame? If it's organic, um, yeah. <laughs> postgame maybe I'll search him out after we win. But, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, that's just an organic thing. You know, it's not – it's not a reunion, it's a football game, and you know, I have a, a mission to take care of. Bill Burrow just told us a few minutes ago he feels like this offense can still hit a new level. This, this team, he said, what are your thoughts on that and this offense and this team right now? Well, I mean, we're sitting at 9-4. Nine, nine wins isn't going to get us anywhere we want to go. So there is a new level to be achieved, and we need to go after and get it. So is there any...